So what is your name? My name is Leo and I'm currently 11 years old. And where do you go to school? I am homeschooled right now. Oh, I guess I can't ask you what grade you're in. <laughs> um, we right, still so, go through the grade system. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, I'm grade so, 6 right now. I, can you say it again? I'm grade 6 right now? Yeah. Can you say it one more time? I'm in grade 6 right now. And what, uh, what kind of uh, support do your parents give you? Well, they take me to tournaments, obviously. <laughs> Uh, they help me with balancing schoolwork and smash. And they just support me, wishing me luck in tournaments, helping me out. And it just, they just give me a lot of support. You've told me that you study grade 12 robotics? Yes, I do. I'm taking online classes on it. I'm building, we build like a new robot every single week. It's really exciting. So how long have you been studying robotics? Like since when? I actually just started, I started a few years ago. I kind of stopped and then I just started back up again. Yeah, I'm really interested in it now. Is there a reason why you started doing it? Is it just an interest for you right now? Right now it's just an interest, it's a fun thing to do, and I just find all the different combinations and how you can change what the robots do very, very unique. So. Do you think this could ever be something that you would do as a career, or would you just keep it as a hobby? I'm not sure. I, I want to make it a career, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. Uh, that said, uh, what would be your current dream job? I guess not. Working for the National Canadian Police, the RC Police. It's the back bit. Uh, was it tough uh, learning robotics for the first time? Yes, it is. It is really hard still. Can you like take me through a typical like assignment you would have to do, or a typical day in the life of Trudy? <laughs> Well, for my generic usual days on weekdays, I usually wake up by, at 9 a.m. I usually start doing school and then have lunch around 12 30. Then I get back to doing school till 6. Then I eat dinner I, and then I play Smash. Or things like that. What's the fa uh, your favorite robot you've created so far? Hmm. It's that it's the one where I made it look like a snake. It was slivering. It was striking. I did. Mm -hmm. Now it's like you guys learn any programs or stuff like that. What? So, uh, like, you handle like oh, yeah. any like uh, learning new computer programs to learn this. Like, well, the way the robots for mine for the set I'm using works is it's drag and drop for different actions, but it gets more complex as you go. Like when does it activate? Or, you know, it just gets really complex, but I don't, it's mainly math and algebra and calculus, but, and I'm using a robotics book for this, this is the main robotics book I use for the class. And uh, do you have any idea maybe what you're going to do for your final project, like uh, you said the sword fighting robot, yeah, that's is that my just main like, idea. that's your main idea? Yeah, because my brother is actually taking the class as well. So we had an idea to maybe create a robot that, by using the remote control, it can attack the other robot. It has, it'll have a certain touch sensor where if the sword, if your opponent's sword hits the sensor, then it'll push this, push the sensor, which will lead to your opponent's robot losing a life point or something. Like that. That's a basic idea I have for the final project. Okay.